This is amazing. Now we are going to see about fine tuning Palijama. So Palijama is a vision language model released by Google. In this, we are able to give image and also text to understand what is in that image. So this is the architecture. Here the image is encoded using Siglib and after that it's combined with the text input. Then we'll get the final output after going through Jama. Similarly for another vision model which is Lava, we are using Clip as the visual encoder and Vicuna as the large language model. Here we are combining Jama and Siglib image encoder. That is a key difference. First is fine tuning, second is saving to hugging face and finally use that fine tune to model. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Paljama fine tuning. In this we'll be loading data sets, loading the model, fine tuning the model and saving that to hugging face as the first step. But before that. I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So in this I'm going to use master compute virtual machine. Use Mervin Prisoner's coupon code to get 50% off. So first step pip install and then all these packages such as transformers, datasets, peft, bits and bytes, pillow and then click enter. I will put all this information in the description below. Now next export your hugging face token like this and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. First import OS, next load dataset, load from disk. Now from transformers we are importing Palijama processor, bits and bytes, training arguments, trainer. Next importing torch, lora config, get peft model. So these are the steps which we are going to follow. First we are going to load dataset, next load model, then fine tuning and finally saving to hugging face. So loading dataset, that is step number one. So we are loading dataset from VQA version 2. That is a visual question and answer. And we are taking only 10% of the data to keep this tutorial quicker. One of the question answering is that how many animals are in the picture? We are providing this image and teaching Palajama that there are three animals in this picture. Similarly, you can create your own data with question and answers. And in this data set, we'll have multiple images with question and answer. Now we are going to teach the large language model. And that's why we are loading the data sets from Hugging Face. Next, we are removing the columns which are not required. That is question type, answers, answer type, image ID and question ID. Here we are removing in this line. Next, we are splitting the test data and the train data. Taking the train data and just printing for our reference. Now step number two, loading the model. So here we are using Palijama 224. So if we see Palijama, there are different versions such as 224, 448, 896. So these are the dimension for the image. We are going to use the smallest version. For more accuracy, you can even use more larger dimension. Now we are loading the processor. We are going to convert data into tokens. Next device is CUDA and then image token. Now here we are defining the model and we are providing the model ID. So this is unquantized version of the model. Next we are going to set the parameter for requires gradient to be false. So now next step is to make sure that we load the quantized version because of the GPU size we have. If you have advanced GPU then go for having a model without any quantization. But in our case to make this tutorial quicker I'm going to load quantized model. To do that we are going to use bits and bytes. So load in 4 bit that is true. Next LoRa configuration. Here we are telling which are the layers we are going to fine tune. Next we are mentioning the quantization config that is bits and bytes and providing the model ID. So here you can see I've just kept this model name in case if you want to use an unquantized version but in my case I'm going to use a quantized version that is model with the quantization config. Next providing the LoRa config to get peft model then model dot print trainable parameters. That's it. This is the model which we are going to use. Now step number three fine tuning the model. Now I'm going to create a function called collate function. So in this we are combining all the three data that is the text, the labels and the images. We're combining all those things, converting that to tokens using the processor and then returning the tokens. As you probably know, these large language model uses tokens to fine tune. So the real data is converted to tokens using processor that you can see here. Next, we need to provide some arguments that is settings for our training. So number of epochs optimizer that is Adam optimizer 
and various other things. You can change this according to your requirement. And I'm saving that in Palijama, this folder. So next, we are going to use trainer. Trainer equals trainer and providing the model, that is the context model, training data set. That is the first loaded data set, then providing the collate function and arguments. Next, trainer.train. This will automatically train the model. And the fourth step is to save the model in hugging face. Trainer.push to hub, then providing the location. So in your case, you might need to modify the username and your preferred model name. That's it. As a quick summary, we loaded the data, we loaded the model as a quantized version. Next, we are fine tuning the model by combining all the data and converting that to tokens and providing all the settings. The trainer.train will train the model and finally we are pushing that to hub. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. This will automatically download the model and load the shards and it will start training. As you can see here, we are training 0.3% of the whole parameters. You can see now the fine tuning is complete, which means the model is automatically trained and pushed to hugging face. And you can see the model here in hugging face now. This contains only the adapter. So we might need to use the whole configuration as you can see here, that is PEFT configuration to load the model. And here's the code for that. The slight modification is that we are using our own model that is Palygemma VQAV2. And then we are combining that with the base model that is Google's Palygemma. Then we are adding an image. This is the image. I'm just asking what is in this image and finally printing out the response. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python test.py. That's where I've stored my code. I need to enter the token for hugging face just to load the model. Then yes. Now it's loading the checkpoint. And finally, here is the response. What's in this image? A beach. Yeah, as you can see, here is a beach. We can even train it furthermore to identify what's exactly in this image and if we want in a specific format. There are multiple use cases, such as you can add your own images and fine tune this based on that. Even this can be used in medical purpose. For example, you can upload any medical scans and then train this model accordingly. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.